Hey, good morning, everyone. Brian Hoops with Midwest Market Solutions. With our uh, market insider market news feature, it's uh, crap report day, Thursday the 9th. Report just came out, so I want to get uh, some information out here for you to digest. Um, overall, negative number. This is um, old crap only. We're not looking at new crap yet from the USDA. That'll be next month. But old crap corn stocks raised 200 million bushels. Um, overall, they increased feed usage by 150, which is certainly justified as we're feeding lower quality uh, corn, but they lowered ethanol by 375 million and left exports unchanged. So that, that's a pretty big jump in ethanol usage. You know, and that could certainly turn things around, but that's a, that's a negative number. Uh, so any stocks, 2.09 billion carry out. Um, we're probably going to be approaching $3 billion when we do our balance sheets for the new crop marketing year, assuming a normal growing season. Wheat stocks up to seven, $970 million versus 940 last month. Soybean stocks, 480 versus estimates of 446 and 425 is what we had uh, last month. They lowered soybean exports by about $50 million to account for that change in the numbers here. Uh, USDA left soybean estimates and corn estimates unchanged in Brazil and Argentina. I thought we could see soybeans uh, in Brazil lowered uh, instead of the 124.5. That seems optimistic given the reports that there's been some drought-like conditions that have hurt and taken the top end off of that soybean crop. Market reaction has not been bad. We are a little bit weaker going into the report in corn. We're trying to trade higher here. Um, a higher close could give us some more short covering into next week, and hopefully that's the case to give us some marketing opportunities. The livestock is under pressure here again. Uh, Smithfield plant in Sioux Falls is going to be closed for three days due to the coronaviruses are trying to clean. I'll have more after the close. Hope you check that out. This has been Brian Hoops.